Right, so we're back to row one. <laughs> so we're going to double crochet in each stitch now. So row one, and we're on row two. Two double crochet in each stitch. So one, two, and then, where's that now? Is that in there? That's going in there. Three, four, so we want a 16, five, six, and next one, seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So that's the end of row two. So let's count those now. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. How oh, wonderful. There's something very wrong here. I don't know what it is. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. So we've obviously got something going wrong here. I don't know what it is. Right, now let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Okay, so that's the end of row two. So we need to row three and four, double crochet all around on sixteen stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Fourteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. There we are, we've got it. We've got it. Okay, so let's move this pin now. Put it in the last stitch. Now, I know this is belt and braces, so I'm just going to count them again. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 
Okay, so row five, one double crochet and then two double crochet in the next five stitches. Okay, so one double crochet and then I'm going to count to ten so I know it's two in each one. So one, two, Okay, so now it's 10 double crochet to the end. So let's just count those and make sure we're right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Spot on this time. So this is a bit of a warts and all video. 1, 2, 3, 4, number 10 on the end of row four okay so here we go now this is okay it's looking good I'm sure it'll be fine it's gonna start pulling in now okay so row five was that row five one two three four one two three four yeah row five so now we're on row six. Let's just tick that off now. So we should have 21 stitches. So let's count them. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Count them again. One, two. Oh, excuse me. One, two, three, four. No, let's get them again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. There we are. Okay, twenty-one. So row six, two double crochet and two double crochet increase well double crochet increase all that means is the same as we've done on the last row so it's two double crochet into one stitch okay that this pattern does swap around the the jargon that it uses one minute it'll say two double crochet into each stitch and then it'll say two double crochet increase which is exactly the same thing so it's saying two double crochet increase three times. So it's two double crochet into the next three stitches. Okay. Um, so two double crochet and two double crochet increase three times. Right. No. So what I just said is completely wrong. Two double crochet and then two double crochet into the next stitch. And then you do that three times. That's it. Yeah, that's it. Okay, right, two double crochet. So one, two, this is a dreadful video, isn't it? Two double crochet into the next stitch. So one, and 
to and I'm going to, as my brain is uh, a bit, I put this aside for so long and my brain is a bit wacky, I'm going to, um, I'm going to mark this so that I don't lose my spot. So, uh, here we go, uh, two double crochet, so one, two, and then two double crochet into the next stitch. So one, two, okay, that's that one done. And then the third one, two double crochet. So one, two, Two double crochet into the next stitch. So one and two. Now I'm just going to check to see if we're still recording. And yes, we are. Okay, so we've done this now. Three, uh, two double crochet, two double crochet increase three times. That's it. One, two, three, and now we're going to twelve double crochet to the end. So those two are in there, so the next stitch is that one. So one, two, three, four, and please fast forward me if you want to, fast forward me rather, five, six, seven, looks very big. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, and I can't remember what it looked like when I made the last one. Looks very strange, doesn't it? It is the nose, but it does look a bit odd. I'm presuming that's the top of the nose. But there we are. We'll just have to keep going and over the best. So that's row six completed. Now we're on row seven. Three double crochet, two increase. Uh, and we do that three times, so we'll just cross these off in the opposite direction. Okay, so one, make sure that's the next stitch there, we're in there, so we want to be in there. So one, I think my tension might be a bit loose. Two, three, and then two double crochet into the next stitch. So one, two, and then three double crochet. One. Oh dear, not just as ground up. Two. Into the next stitch. One, two, I don't know what she's growling at because the post lady's already been. And uh, two, so again, one, two, three, and then two into the next stitch. One, Eight double crochet, two double crochet increase, and three double crochet. Okay, so eight double crochet. So one, two, 
I don't remember doing this last time. Three. Four, but it is a year since I made the other one. Five. Six, seven, eight, eight double crochet. Now two double crochet increase, which is two into the next stitch. So one, two, and then three double crochet. One, two, three. One, two, and three. There we are. Oh, this is looking very odd. I don't remember it looking like this when I made it last time. Okay. So two double crochet increase, three double crochet. So two double two double crochet into the next stitch, three double crochet, and we do this all the way around. Okay, that gives us 35 stitches. So two double crochet into the next stitch. And three double crochet. So that's one. Two and three. Two double crochet into the next stitch. One, two, and then one, two. I've got an ominous feeling about this. Two double crochet into the next stitch. One, two, and then one, two, three. Two into the next stitch, one, two, and then one, two, three, two into the next stitch, one, two. One, two, three, two into the next stitch, one, two, Two into the next stitch, one, two, and then one, two, three. Okay, so I'm not at all sure this is looking how it's supposed to look. And as I say, I can't remember how this looked when I made the last one, but I mean. Yeah, that could be the under the chin and that could be the top of the nose, so 
let's keep going and see how it works. So we've done that one. So rows 9 to 11. So 9, 10 and 11. We're going to double crochet all around. So if you want to, you can come back to me um, at the end of row 11. So I'm just going to count my stitches. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. Yep. I'm on row 12. So I hope you've caught up. So it's three double crochet and two double crochet together. So we're starting to increase a decrease now so let's do that and that's all around it's three double crochet and double crochet two together all around okay so let's see what's going on here there we are okay So we're in there, we need to go in here. So one double crochet, two, three, and then two double crochet together. So uh, one, keep the two on the needle, and two, three on the needle, and pull through all three, if you remember that. Two and three, and three together. One, two on the needle, two, three on the needle, and pull through all three. Okay, so one, two, and three, and then two together. So one on the needle, two on the three on the needle, and pull through three, and then one, two, three, and then one, two, pull through three. Okay, one. And I can feel the pin at the back now here so I'm just going to count my stitches and see. I hate it when it just says carry on to the end because I'd rather have a number. So this is starting to look a bit more like a face now isn't it? So I think we're getting there. I think the nose of my other bear was a bit bigger but perhaps once the um, once the uh, stuffing's inside, it should be alright. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 
28, yep, 28 stitches. And now row 13 is a double crochet all around. Okay, so we're starting to shape the head now. It's coming together. And um, yeah, it's looking all right. I, I don't know why the nose of this one isn't as pronounced as the nose of my other one. Maybe once it's, yeah. We'll just have to see how it goes. I mean, I'm not opposed to undoing it all and starting all over again, but I'd rather not do that. <laughs> okay, so I'll we'll put the pin in here. And we will begin row 13. And you're welcome to skip forward and meet me at the end of this row. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven. Okay, so that's the end of row 13 and now we're on row 14. Row 14 says two double crochet and then double crochet two together all around to the end. So that's 21 stitches, so let's do that. So where are we? We're in there, so we need to be in here next. So one. Two double crochet and then decrease two together. So one into there, one into there, and pull through three. And then two double crochet, one, two, one into the next one, one into the next one, and pull through three. One, double crochet, two, double crochet, and then decrease, one into there, one into there, pull through three. <coughs> one double crochet, two double crochet, decrease one. Two, pull through three, one double crochet, two double crochet, and a decrease, pull through three, one double crochet, two double crochet, and a decrease. <coughs> one double crochet, two double crochet, and decrease one, two, and pull through three. Okay.
Okay. And that's the end of row 14. So row 15, one double crochet and double crochet two together all around. So I'm just going to check my stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. So that's the right number of stitches. So I now want to one double crochet, decrease two together around till I get to the end. So we're in there. So next one double crochet, decrease, one double crochet, decrease, one double crochet, Decrease. I feel like my tension's a bit loose on this for some reason. I see that back stitch is that back loop's a bit loose. One double crochet and decrease. and decrease one double crochet and decrease one double crochet and decrease and that's the end of that row there we are there's our little head so that was the end of row 15 and we now turn the page and I believe it's time to stuff the head and then there's just one more row to go so we'll pull that crochet hook from there I've just caught it with a pin actually Give myself a good big loop so that I don't stuff it in. Pop that in there. Yeah, I think he's got a shallower face than the last bear, but not to worry. Here's the stuffing. Now when we pull it out of the bag, we just need to um, give it a little pull so that it's loose because it has been a strange smell it has been compacted so just give it a little pull and then slip it in now I just want to push this nose out a bit there. see how this is still very compacted so you just need to pull it apart hmm. I'm wondering what I've done wrong here I mean or have I have done anything wrong I mean I don't know doesn't seem to have as pronounced a nose as I would have thought. So maybe I've messed up somewhere along the line. I don't know. Anyway, there he is. Once he's got his black nose tip on, I'm sure he'll look different. And his eyes. 
it, yeah, I think it'll be alright. I'm wondering if I've missed a row or something, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, there we are. It is what it is. All these bears have got different faces because um, those of my friends who've been making them along with me, every one of them is different. Um, and, you know, depending on your tension, depending on one thing or another, they're going to come out with little different personalities, aren't they? Right, so row 16. Double crochet, two together, seven times. Okay, so one. And as with the body, it's always hard once you've got the stuffing in. Two. Yeah, let's see, that's a bit loose, that tension again, isn't it? I don't know. I'm a bit off today with it, I think. One, three on the needle, and pull through three. Sorry you can hear my washing machine spinning away down there. One, two, three on the needle, pull through three. This is all going to be hidden anyway so I'm not too worried about it. One, two, three on the needle, pull through all three and then the last one, one, two, three on the needle and pull through all three and there we are. So slip stitch into first double crochet of the round and fasten off leaving enough yarn to sew up. Weave your yarn ends in and out of the front loops of the double, six double crochet of the last round and pull tight to close the opening. Okay so slip stitch into there so that goes into there and pull straight through there and that's that. I'm just going to pull that out for a minute and give myself a decent length because there is plenty and there is absolutely plenty of yarn. Now that's my needle. I'll do the job. We can take the pin out now and then we can pull that through with that loop. And then we're just going to weave in and out of here. too much uh, kept myself far too much thread but not so worry and there we are let's close the back of the head so now we just need to weave in and out of here and just fasten this off And we don't need to leave yarn on this because we've already left yarn to sew up um, 
the head to sew the head to the body we've left that on the body so um, all we need to do is to just secure this now oh, I've got a knot in there right I'd like a little just make a little knot here And then just pop that inside and out there. And do you know what? I always like to um, just make a little bit secure it a little bit more. So there we are. Just pop it in one more time. There we are. So this. And there's the head. Now, as I said, it has got a very shallow face but once we put the eyes in and we put the nose on and I found my needle, there it is <laughs> So I can't remember what these, which bits are which now. Um, whether that's a nose. Yeah, I think that's his nose. I think that's a nose. So once we've got a nose on and some eyes and his mouth, I think he'll look all right. But I'm hoping that when you come to make yours, you get a deeper. or a longer snout anyway there we are so the the next job is to make the ears and the nose and the pads and I'll come back to do that with you in row uh, and I'll come back to finish that off with you and sew it all back together in the next video so thank you for watching bye bye